Five eight six. That'll do. Let's go over to the to the maneuver node that I've missed. We'll uh, sort the rendezvous with that with Minmus, and then we need to go back to the other Mun stuff. I'm only five minutes out. It's fine. I didn't want to miss that maneuver node, so that's why that one took priority. This one doesn't matter too much because this is a matter of fine tweaking it anyway. Like, it's not. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Do. That's going to be the capture burn. So that's in six days, three hours. Let's uh, go to the tracking station real quick. I didn't set up this. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to do with this. Uh, I could let that orbit. And then when I'm at the periapsis, just do the burn. Yeah, let's go and do that. That's what I'll do. Let's get these Mun sets sorted, then we'll do the Minmus sets, and then, um, should be good. Hey, Prince, how's it going? Welcome in. Steady on there. That your dick game. It'll do. Restart on RL10. Good, good. They should be aligned so that they'll visually be in, in line of sight. Uh, so that is in two hours time. Let's go back to the tracking station. Have ignition. You know, you, uh, you're you taking your time to message that, but if I was to do that, I would absolutely get something wrong. <laughs> Is it easy to play on PC, Kerbal? I've got 2,000 hours. Um, I personally still find it really difficult. Um... I'm not saying that it's not something that you can do. Uh, I don't want to put people off. It's uh, there's a learning curve. There's a learning curve. I think I haven't played on console. I presume it's easier to play on PC than it is on console. Uh, but there, there there is a big learning curve for it. Um, a lot of Kerbal, you iron out that learning curve by trial and error. So don't be afraid to fail. Failure failure is good because then you learn something from it. Um, play on PS4. Yeah, I, I've never played on consoles, so I don't know what is easier to use. I mean, I've got, like I said, I've got 2,000 hours on PC. So I personally would probably say that PC is better, but that's because I'm accustomed to it and acclimatized to it. 
I know uh, there's quite a few people that come into the stream that play on console now, which is good. It's good that you can that that you guys play on console and, and stuff. But PC is better. I, I again I, I can't I can't comment because I've not I've not done the comparison of playing on um, that's why they use PCs to make console games I don't want to go into that debate <laughs> I mean personally I pr prefer PC gaming like over console gaming I don't I can't I mean, I, I don't really like controllers. A lot of buttons have two uses, so it makes it harder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I've got, like, I've got over 2,000 hours in this game, and yet I'm still learning some buttons and how to do things. I still don't know how to cancel out the, uh, the trim. Like, when, when you set trim up when you're flying around. I don't know how to cancel that. <laughs> Never figured that out. <laughs> So yeah, the, 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 I'm still learning the game. It's 2,000 hours and I'm still learning. It's no debate. PC is better. It's 10 times better for Kerbal. Yeah. Well, Kerbal was designed for PC, so it kind of makes sense, right? Try... Trim, hold... Hold, alt. Yeah, I, I know how to set trim. I don't know how to cancel trim. That's the problem. With SAS off. Yeah, I, I know I know how to set trim. I can do that fine. I don't know how to cancel the trim that I've set. I used to be able to do it. Well, okay, so for instance, if you set a trim to like five degrees pitch, how'd you get it back to zero? There is a way of doing it. You could you 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 hit alt and something. Oh, is it alt X? It might be alt X. That cancels trim. That might be what it is. Look, so so I'm currently here. Let's turn SAS off. So I've I've set trim on this. So now without any hands, it's always pitching up. If we hit Alt X, yeah, it's Alt X. There we go. So I did know it. I just forgot. It's just uh, the 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 other day when I was flying a plane for like the first time in 500 hours probably. Um, I was like, huh? How do I cancel the trim again? Because <laughs> I I, re I know how to set the trim. I just forgot. Minecraft is updating June 8th. Awesome! I'm super hyped for that. I'm super hyped, dude. Um, so I'm going to be doing a brand new save with 1.17. Uh, brand new save, started from scratch. Um, I'm going to be building in the caves, obviously, because everything's in the caves. If you change throttle trim starts, but I don't know how to stop. I don't know how you would on console. Thanks for the follow, my dude. I appreciate that. Next Tuesday for all platforms. I thought it was going to be releasing at some point. Awesome. June the 8th. What am I doing next week? I think I've got Wednesday off, so we might do like a full Minecraft stream. And then my go-to for video games will probably be Kerbal and Minecraft and just rotate the two. Um, but yeah, no, basically I want to create, like, a cave. I, I, I want, like, a super network of cave and ravine and all of the new biomes and things, and I want to incorporate them into, like, builds, then have just, like, contraptions everywhere. And like, I've got this vision of, like, having um, slime jump pads everywhere where we can jump up to, like, different levels of the cave instead of using stairs and things like that. That's what I want to do. 
goats as well. It'll, it'll, uh, I'll find a seed. Well, in fact, I've got a seed. Uh, I've got a seed saved that, that has a good cave network. Um, hopefully that it'll, it'll be the same generation, but, uh, it's also near mountains as well. Uh, near mountains and stuff like that, so. Ho hopefully it'll, it'll be a similar cave generation. It's probably going to be different because obviously it's a, it, that's the whole point, but. Yeah, uh, so I, I, I've got a, uh, I've got a seed that I'm, that I want to use. Okay, let's, um, what am I doing with this one? So this is at, at close approach and I'm going down to 397, 587. I want to say 587. 587. 397, 587. Oh, that one has... Has that circularized yet? No. We're going into that a little bit. I realize I'm like super focused mode right now. I'm trying to get this right. Three nine three, close. Not not quite there. Goats, yeah, that's something else that I want to do. I want to do goat farming. I want to take all of the goats and I want to make them all my bitch. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, no, that's that that's the plan anyway. Um three nine seven. Whoops, missed it. Three nine seven. Five eight nine. Five eight six. That'll do. We wait for an orbit on this one, and then bring that back to you, and then that'll be in its final orbit there. Tracking station. So, um, in the update, are they more focusing on the cliffs aspect of the game, or are they focusing on the cave aspect? I don't know. So, it is the cliffs part. Ah, oh, no. Uh... See, I, yeah, I want the cave update. That's what I want. That's okay. We'll, we'll we'll still. Well, that didn't work. No, it didn't. <laughs> but don't worry. It's obviously not a friendly link.
Ramming to your device on June the 8th. Bah, what's that sound? Okay. Every day a cre creature wakes up and Kaza okay, uh, chooses headbutts. Yeah, you see, I, I want to make these my bitch. That's my goal. In the new safe. Oh, it's one of the goals. Hmm. I will be officially petitioning the vanilla team to remove goats from it. <laughs> we got glow shrooms as well. I don't know what those are. Updated slime textures. Something else I want to do is the slimes. Oh, we got a new cat variant as well. New Illager. We got a new Parrot. New Llama Trader, I think. Maybe a Llama Trader update. Uh, Skeleton. Is that- that's an update for Skeleton and Zombies as well? Interesting, because that's- okay. Yeah, so texture changes for those. I didn't realize that, that was a thing. Cool. We'll- we'll- we'll have a look. We'll have a look. On the 8th. I don't want too many spoilers. That's all I could find for the patch stuff. Yeah, the patch notes will, uh, will come out with the release. So, uh... I mean, it's been- it, it's been a long time coming, honestly. Um, they said... I've, I've been waiting since April. I've been wanting to do it since April. Like, that was when I was ready to start a new save. So. That was when I was ready. I was ready in April. Right, what are we doing here? We're bre we are circularizing. Okay. So this is the tricky bit, because we've got to get it bang on. Also, where, how is our inclination? Eh, 0.2, I'm fine, whatever. It'll be okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Minmus stuff still on the way out to Minmus. Okay, let's tag that up there. We want to keep that up and this up. Want to just push my periapsis to there. Let's get rid of that, because we know where we're going. Point retrograde. God damn it! Trying to get it bang on. As close as I can be bothered. Eh. That's gonna bug me. There we go, did it. I'm calling that. So, second satellite in a, is in its final position. We've got a direct line of sight to the first, which is great. Which, and actually, I'm really glad that we did have a line of sight to that, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do that maneuver. Let's go back to the tracking station. And... 
this one. Last month satellite to be done, and then we'll do the Minmus ones. I'm not sure whether I will do the Minmus ones today. I think I might leave the Minmus ones. I'm getting a little bit tired with Kerbal, honestly, because we've been doing like the same grindy thing over and over and over and over and over again kind of thing. And it's very, it's starting to get really warm in my office, so I'm actually thinking I need to leave the office and <laughs> do something else. Boop. Okay, we've got direct signal to wherever we're going. Nye Island. Get rid of that. We don't need it. Point retrograde. Just keep the fuel up. Finite control on. Same thing again. Solar line are going up at the end of July. Nice. Just bear with me, because I want to get this right. Need to iron out 481 meters. This sounds like human music. No, I don't know what human music is. I don't know. It's just background music, that's all it is, honestly. Rick and Morty reference. It's been a while since I've watched that. I find Rick and Morty fine, and I'm not a huge fan of the crass humor, honestly. I, no, I do like it. I find it... Hel I, I've watched them all. I've... Find it fairly honey. What? Uh, fu honey? Fairly funny, right? Like, it's pretty good. What I don't like about Rick and Morty is the fan base. How they're constantly insisting that you have to be an intellectual to understand this. It's like, whatever. If if you don't find this funny, then you're just not smart. It's like, man, just fuck off. <laughs> I hate that. And it kind of puts me off the show, honestly. But I have watched all of Rick and Morty. It's, it's alright. It's fine. Even the creators hate the fanbase, so you're not alone. <laughs> I mean, this show's all right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it. It deserves the hype that it gets. But then I also think that about Family Guy, right? I did used to in really enjoy Family Guy, but I, yeah. I don't know. I just kind of grew out of it. I think it's because I don't know. It just got, kind of got tiring. Same with The Simpsons as well. I'm not really that much of a fan of The Simpsons, so it's different type of humor. My favorite is um, Futurama. My favorite favorite is Future Armor, and um, trying to think of other animated.
animated comedy things that kind of like have a huge big fan base kind of thing Archer I like the first five seasons of Archer but actually no I, I like the others as well I like the newer ones too because it, it changes the formula and it's not all the same Yeah, so none of these kind of really complement anything, so. I find this one is a really interesting idea. Finish the constructor of a rover on the surface of the man. No, I'm not doing that. I've just put that in its final orbit. It's staying there. Go away. Decline. <laughs> I like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it for Kerbal. I'm gonna call it for Kerbal. I'm. We've done the Mun stuff. I was kind of hoping I would get the Minmus stuff done as well, but. I don't know whether I can sit and micromanage all three of these now. Like, all of the capture burns on this are at the same time. I didn't plan that out very well, did I? Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of losing patience with Kerbal a little bit. And that's because I've been sat down in a very hot room for four hours playing Kerbal. So... We'll, uh, we'll call Kerbal there.